All right, folks, this is uh, July the 23rd, 2011. Showing you a daughter of Jethro right here named Little O. I got her bred to uh, Willie, which is uh, basically a three quarter balls, one quarter panther breeding. She's uh, one of the better daughters of Jethro, that's one of my favorite, actually. This is uh, Jethro. He's uh, my main stud dog and the found basically the dog I'm basing everything on. Uh, he's getting old, he'll be 11 this fall. But uh, right now he's throwing really nice litters. So I've got him on oxy, mate. He's been throwing six to eight puppies right here lately. So hopefully he'll keep throwing for a few more years for me. That's what I'm hoping. Great dog. I think one of the best dogs in the country. This is one of his daughters. This is Ramsey. Got her bred to Willie right now also. Uh, she's out of Jethro bred to a daughter of Hendrix Brick. So she's like a Boyle's Jeep Rascal Cross. Great little dog. Let's see over here. This is uh, a, this is actually out of Ramsey bred to Bully, one of my other stud dogs, which is a half-brother to Willie. So they're balls with a three-quarter balls, quarter Jeep Rascal. And this is another one out of that same little, little female. Okay, this is, this is Sweet Thing. Bobby Hall dog out of Gangster and Pretty Girl. And we got her bred to Willie. This is Vinny's Toscana. She's um, she's out of Homer Three and Vinny's Shy Girl. So one Vinny sent me out of California. Real nice little dog. Got some pups off her. I'll show you later. This is Smiley. Smiley's three quarter balls, the bulls, the Abraham's bull stuff. With a quarter out of Red Boy Jocko blood coming through, coming through the Ganey dog. Real nice male. This is Negra. She's a, a inbred alligator dog. <laughs> She's got a slight out. Excuse me of. Uh, Greenwood blood coming through Oscar and Oki. But a real nice dog, and I, I think we're going to breed her to Willie also. This is another one of my boys' males. This one is the Ponce uh, 44 stuff crossed back to the uh, Johnny Red blood. So kind of heavy in the Emmy handicap type breeding. Hey, this is Bully. This is um, a heavy Abraham's Bulldog. He's out of uh, Queen Bee bred to Little Bull. He's throwing some really nice pups for us also. Okay, this is Sassy. She just come off a litter, bred back to Jethro. So they're, they're double Jethro with a quarter out of the Earl Jr. blood coming through Casper and Victoria. Them pups are really nice. I, I don't think we're going to sell any of them due to Jethro's age. We, we, we'll see. And this is Emmett 2. Uh, he's out of Jethro to Connie, so um, it's the Emmett blood on the bottom and Jethro on top. I've never bred this male, but he's definitely stud quality. Um, 
So I may be breeding him this year. I don't know. We'll see. And this little male, he's a puff off of uh, Jethro to back to his mama. When he started getting old, we tried to inbreed him a few times. This is the only male that I know of. Um, and I like him. He's pretty hyper. But I think he's going to be a good dog for us. Okay, this is a puff off of uh, Bully. Bully and Bambi. So it's uh, like a Bully of Boys blend. She's a female. So I may sell this dog. She's about seven months old now. Let's see, and this male here, this is an alligator. This is vintage, vintage Toscana crossed back to an inbred alligator male. This is one of my friends. He's, some of his blood we're trying out. This pup's about 10 months old. Okay, this is Demi. Demi's out of Jethro. Uh, bred back to a dog off of Demon and Courtney Love. So she's double Courtney Love. Um, and we got her bred to Willie. I don't know if she took yet or not, but that'll be some real heavy boils blood with probably some of the best blood boils blood of the past 20 years all in this dog. It's extremely... <laughs> Extremely hot today. These dogs are trying to lay low because it's been hovering around a hundred or better every day here lately. Okay, this is another one of the uh, the balls with the gainy out. This is brother to Smiley. Okay, this male here is another brother to Smiley. Yeah, I call him. Uh, Brown Bomber. Nice male. You can kind of see my chain setups the way I do them. I use about a 20 foot length of quarter inch chain. I use uh, about a 20 gallon barrel for water so they can get in it and cool off. And I make sure all my dogs are under oak trees where they got plenty of shade. And this is the best way to keep a pit bull. They can say what they want to, but a good chain set up in this type of situation is ideal if you can do it. Okay, this is a this is a pup off a of bully bred to Ramsey. He's about seven or eight months old. Let's see, this is a this is thin Lizzie. She's an alligator Chinaman cross. Very nice dog. One of my best females, actually. Okay, this is Willie. I got him bred to quite a few females, as you've heard. He's off a of little bull and crazy Mary. He ain't liking this heat too much. But. He came back out of the house, so I'm going to give you another shot of him. This dog, throws, he's kind of fat right now, but this dog's got great confirmation. And I'm going to tell you, he's, I'd say, one of the better dogs in the country right now. Okay, this is Orphan Girl. She's, we got a litter off of her and Willie, I'm going to show you. She's out of Bozak, bred to Orphan Annie. I may sell this female. I ain't. I've been thinking about it right here lately. I don't really breed the heavy red boy Jocko much no more, but she's a good dog. Uh, I think she's about four to five years old right now. But if somebody's interested, I may sell her, or she may stay right here. I ain't sure. Okay, this is a little dog off of Buster and Lady Gaga. So she's heavy Chinaman, the Chinaman spiky type, but nice dog too. She's about 10, 11 months old right now. 
Let's see, this is one of my stud dogs, Ernest T. He's out of Garner's Darby and Garner Smith's Red Angel. Very nice dog. People that, that like that type of blood, they love this male. They tell me he's really producing. I hadn't kept much of it, but I'm I'm going to do some breedings with him because he's getting on up in age now. I think it would cross. I did a cross with this blood back to Jethro, and it really produced some nice dogs. I think with his age now, I need to start trying to do it again. And this is Raven. Let's see here. Raven is out of Boudreaux's uh, Black Widow bred to Reno, Boudreaux's Reno. So she's a heavy maverick dog. I got her bred to Willie. I don't think she took the. She's getting on up in age. Okay, this is Playgirl. We got her got her bred uh, to Willie also. She's out of Jethro and Vicky. Looks like she took. Let's see, and this is this is a pup off the Jethro. I mean the bully Ramsey breeding. This is this is a puff off of Ernest T and Mamba, which is alligator Chinaman cross. All right, this is Gina. Gina is out of uh, Bono to Crazy Mary, so she's heavy uh, Abraham's bull blood. And I got her bred to Jethro. It looks like she took. Should be some excellent dogs. Okay, this is a male out of Diego and Nova. No, this one's out of Diego and Lola. So it's uh, basically a bulls, Chinaman, alligator blend, kind of a kind of a little outcross there. But it, this is a nice looking male, and good acting male too. This is one of my favorites, Crisco. She's getting old, but we tried it. We did a breeding with her to Jethro, which I can't tell if it took yet or not. If it did, we ain't gonna sell them no way. But uh, she's out of Gangster and Crisco. I mean, Gangster and Pretty Girl, and we bred her back to Jethro. This is one of the first males off of Willie that, that I got. Uh, this is to a daughter of Jethro Jr. bred back to Willie. I like the confirmation that he's throwing. This pup's about seven months old. He's gonna be a tall rascal. Uh, 